From the opening day of the 18th Lok Sabha session to update on Kejriwal's bail, here are some of the key news highlights of the day. The first session of the 18th Lok Sabha began on Monday. Before the House could commence its legislative duties, the newly elected members took their oaths as members of Parliament. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched an emergency attack on the main opposition Congress before the Lok Sabha convened this morning. Addressing the media, the Prime Minister noted that the 25th of June, tomorrow, marks the 50th anniversary of the emergency, calling it a black spot on the country's democracy. Meanwhile, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi and other opposition MPs displayed copies of the constitution to Prime Minister Narendra Modi as he was about to take his oath as member of the 18th Lok Sabha. The Supreme Court on Monday adjourned the hearing of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's plea until the 26th of June. Kejriwal is challenging the Delhi High Court's decision to put on hold the bail granted to him by a trial court in a money laundering case related to the alleged excise policy case. A vacation bench of Justices Manoj Misra and S.V.N. Bhatti noted that the High Court is yet to pronounce its final order in the matter. Amidst the ongoing controversy over neat paper leaks, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee wrote to Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday. She urged him to abolish the national eligibility come entrance test and revert to the previous system where state governments conducted their own medical entrance exams. In her letter, Mamta highlighted that states were allowed to conduct their own entrance examinations for medical courses before 2017 and this system functioned smoothly. Aam Aadmi Party leader and Delhi Water Minister Atishis Fast entered its fourth day on Monday. TMC MPs Mohua Maitra and Sagarika Ghosh extended their support by visiting her at the protest site. Additionally, several Delhi cabinet ministers have written a joint letter to PM Modi urging him to intervene and direct the Haryana government to release Delhi's share of water. That's all for today. We leave you with a rare political gesture spotted in the parliament where BJP leader Giriraj Singh hugged Congress MP KC Venugopal.